Hello, Anjali. Hope you're all having a good week. Uh, we're not reading at home today because um, Hero has been a very naughty puppy this week. Uh, he's eaten makeup, cardboard boxes, uh, pillow, um, and I can't even remember what else, but a lot. So I'm in school where it's safe. Uh, I also promised that we would read something different this week. So I have bought some poetry books and I'm going to share some short, hopefully entertaining poems with you today. The first one is called I'm Carrying the Baby by Michael Rosen. I'm carrying the baby. Paul was three. Look at me, he said. Look at me, I'm carrying the baby. Look at me, look at me, I'm carrying the baby. Oh, said Paul. Look at me, I've dropped the baby. Oh dear. This one is called Oh, Ozzy. Polar bear in the garden, yelled Ozzy, and we all rushed out to see. But, of course, it wasn't a bear at all, just a marmalade cat who jumped over a wall. Oh, Ozzy. Mountain lion in the garden, yelled Ozzy, and we all rushed out to see. But, of course, it wasn't a lion with a roar, just the scruffy black dog who'd dug in from next door. Oh, Ozzy. Kangaroo in the garden, yelled Ozzy. And we all stayed in and smiled. And of course, it wasn't a kangaroo, but a man-eating tiger that had escaped from the zoo. Mm. Poor Ozzy. I'm sure some of these poems will end up happy. An Interesting Fact About One of My Relatives by Ian Macmillan. My great 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 granddad is very old. An interesting fact for sure. This is a quite a famous poem called On the Ning Nang Nong by Spike Milligan. On the Ning Nang Nong, where the cows go bong, and the monkeys all say boo, there's a Nong Nang Ning, where the trees go ping, and the teapots jibber jabber jew. On the Nong Ning Nang, all the mice go clang, and you just can't catch them when they do. So it's Ning Nang Nong, cows go bong, Nong Nang Ning, trees go ping, Nong Ning Nang, and the mice go clang. What a noisy place to belong is the Ning Nang, Ning Nang Nong. Glad it's a bit quieter around Bristol than that. Taking my human for a walk by Roger Stevens. I took my human for a walk along the beach. The fishing nets had dragged in hundreds of spider crabs, dead and rotting on the shingle. I rolled and rolled in them, sheer bliss. When we got home, I nearly died of embarrassment. My human said, Look, you have a crab's claw stuck to your tail. What kind of animal is that, do you think, taking their human for a walk? This one is called It Wasn't Me by Paul Cookson. It, it wasn't me, sir. Honest, sir. It, it wasn't me, sir. It was him. Uh, I wasn't with him. Honest, sir. Uh, it was definitely him, sir. But I definitely wasn't with him. Honest, sir. Honest, sir. I'm telling the truth. It wasn't me. It was him, sir. Uh, it can't have been me, sir. I wasn't with him. Honest, sir. I was quite near him, though. Yes, definitely telling the truth. Uh, this is a poem that I've been reading to the uh, kids in class that I've really enjoyed. It's called What For by Noel Petty. One more word, my dad said, and I'll give you what for. What for? I said. That's right, he said. What for? No, I said. I, I mean, what for? What will you give me what for for? 
Never you mind, he said. Wait and see. But what? what is what for for, I said. What's what for for, he said. It's to teach you what's what, that's what. What's that, I said. Right, he said. You're for it. I'm going to let you have it. Have what, I said. Have what, he said. What for, that's what. Do you really want me to give you something to think about? I don't know, I said. I'm thinking about it. Then he clipped me around the ear. It was the first time he made sense all day. Okay, I have many more poems that I have chosen, but I've run out of time to share them. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and have a fantastic week.